Hey Max Impactors, we're live again for our Mindset Monday. I got a great episode for you today. Uh, today is going to be on uh, a parenting trick for you. Um, I have a lot of parents that ask me about um, just parenting um, things like how do we keep uh, you know, in, in our classes, the classroom control that we have and things like that. And a lot of parents ask questions about this. So I'm gonna give you a little tip on something that I really find is a great way. But let me share this to our group first. So let's see, we're gonna share group. So we can get some of the people from our Max Impactor community. All right. Okay, now that we got that done. All right, guys, so parenting trick. And I have a lot of these like kind of Jedi mind tricks that I do on kids during class and it really helps uh, classroom control. This one's called, this parenting trick I call the limited options trick. So limited options, that's when you give a kid a choice between two things and either one's just acceptable to you. So the way we use this in class is it could be like this. You have a kid come and we're doing jumping jacks. You might say to the kids, do you want to do 10 or 20 jumping jacks? You don't care that you're doing 10 or 20. What, you, what you're just trying to do is give the kid an option. And the reason why this works so well is because kids are used to um, adults always telling them what to do all the time. But this actually places some of the control in their hands which makes it that it, uh, since the controls in their hands they're more likely to comply with what you said. Um, I use this many ways uh, for this uh, okay in class we could do uh, hey kids do you want to do laps or an obstacle course okay at home you might uh, say hey do you want um, you know carrots or peas for dinner and the kid you know gets a chance to choose between two things um, do you want to go? Do you want to eat Chinese or Mexican tonight? Uh, you, you know, you just let you don't totally decide on what you want them to do. You just give them a choice. And then, like, again, this is a really effective uh, technique. Um, I used to use this a lot uh, with our kids when it was time to go to bed. They might be watching TV or doing something. Especially when they were watching TV, I would always say to them, "Okay, do you want to finish watching what you are uh, watching now?" or do you want to go to bed now? And they would always go, hey, I want to finish watching the episode. So once they're done watching the episode, it, and this is the second part of this, is since they've already made an agreement at that time to go to bed, they're more likely to do it. So even if they, uh, at the end of the episode or whatever on TV, they started complaining about staying up later, you would say, oh, well, you already agreed to XYZ and usually the kids will because they made an agreement you know they will comply with your request so that's my tip for the week um, this is gonna be this is a pretty quick video but um, I think this is a great technique to use at home now in the future I'm gonna give you some more of these uh, tips that you can use at home to help you guys uh, you know kind of Jedi mind trick your kids into doing what you want to do without them arguing or fighting. All right, guys. Um, next week, I have a really good episode. I'm already uh, um, writing it up. Um, we're going to talk about the Max Impact way, and it's going to be a really cool episode. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, look forward to that. If you're really uh, feeling this video, and um, I want you to just take in the comments, put an emoji. Okay, and I want a dog em emojis because it was uh, National Dog or Pet Day the other day. So if I can see some emojis of dogs, that will just let me know that you listen to this video. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. See you next week, same time, Monday, 10 o'clock.